hello and welcome to this video um, my purpose in this video my purpose for this video is to introduce introduce the robotics lab we use robotics i lab um, i'll do that by just going in for the kinematics experiments i will not perform the experiment per se but i'll run us through the various procedures that are like that you'll need to go through to perform the experiment in case you are new to interactive iLabs, there you could get to the OAU's iLab homepage and you'll find a link to a YouTube video on performing um, interactive iLab experiments. But if you're already used to uh, the procedure, or it's quite intuitive actually, so you probably would not need to go through that video. But this video talks about the robotics um, iLab, the robotic arm iLab. Now, um, Again, this could serve to an extent as some form of introduction on how to use interactive eye labs, but I won't go into details about interactive eye labs in this video as I did in the other video. So I want to perform the kinematics experiment. So I'll click on kinematics experiments. It takes me to this next page. To perform the experiment, I'll need to schedule a session. Now there's a button here for the lab manual and for the webcam. I'll come to those in a moment. In the meantime, let me just schedule a session. I'll schedule a session. Today's date is 11th of October. And I'll schedule a session um, from the time at present is 5.41. So I'll schedule a session for 5.41 and I want it to run for 10 minutes. I'll make a reservation. It's usually polite not to register, not to reserve much more time than you need. Yes, it's good to reserve more time than you actually need, but don't reserve an hour if you need just 10 minutes. So make a reservation and I'll close this page. So we see the list of reservations. That's the time I just reserved. And now I'll go to redeem reservation. Okay, so at this point, I can now launch the lab. But before launching the lab, you will need a webcam. Uh, you will need to see the, to view, to view the webcam to see what is happening at the laboratory end. So you'll need to launch this webcam feed before you launch the lab. So I'll click on web, webcam. And it will um, open another window which will um, be a, the live webcam feed okay that should open in a moment yeah so that's our webcam feed and that's the robotic arm at the back end which we'll be controlling um now it's i have this two in two different tabs in internet explorer i usually would like to advise that you bring them out as i have them in separate as separate windows all together so that you can line them side by side so that as you control the robotic cam you can also view what is happening live um, on the webcam feed so what i'm doing is i'm just reducing the size of this window and i'll um, put it to the right of the screen and i'll have the controls for this on the left of the screen so again i'll just reduce this window okay so we can just about see what is going on in that window Okay, so that's our launch lab button. All this text here is squiggle is I've been squished, but well, not too much of a problem. Now let me just show you this launch this lab manual button. If I click on the lab manual button again, it opens another window, uh, which gives us information about this particular experiment. That's the documentation for the kinematics experiments. If you had been performing another experiment, you would have gone to the documentation for that experiment. But this is for the kinematics experiment. So you have some information on what kinematics is all about. Um, using a two-link robotic arm. It shows the four kinematics um, equations and the inverse kinematic equations. Then you actually have the practical which you will be performing in this laboratory. So this gives the robotic arm which we're using. This is a picture of the robotic arm which we're using. And this is its schematic. The um, length of each of the links is given here on the right. Now you'll be, so you are required to find the forward kinematics and um, later on find the inverse kinematics. Okay. Later on down here, you'll be um, finding the inverse kinematics of the um, robotic arm. Now, when you're performing any experiment, please download and fill this lab report or if your instructor um, gives you a different set of um, commands apart from these ones you have here then you probably have not much to do with this page but if you're just using the default which i have prepared um, the set of um, actions to perform in this laboratory then you'll need to um, um, download and fill this lab report while you're performing the experiments 
so you're going to supply theta 1 being 80 degrees theta 2 0 degrees theta 3 0 degrees theta 4 70 degrees to the robotic arm and you're going to measure using this webcam feed you're going to determine its position um you're going to determine its position on the in the cartesian um its Cartesian position is what, you, what you're going to determine in the space and you're going to record that in this lab report so please download this before you perform your experiments but as of now I'll go and click on launch lab so I click on launch lab now this experiment were performed using and lab view 8.6 lab view 8.6 so you'll need to have the runtime engine of lab view 8.6 installed on your system um, when you install this, you might realize that um, you need to use Internet Explorer. I noticed that on some computers, um, you could perform this experiment without using Internet Explorer. You could use Mozilla, Opera, um, Chrome, Google Chrome, Opera, um, Apple Safari, and several other browsers. But in some cases, you have to use Internet Explorer. So I'm using Inter Internet Explorer in here, and you may find you have to use it. After clicking on Launch Lab, it tells me my reservation started 5.41 um, p.m., and it will end at 5 55 pm okay so it just gives me that information in some cases it may take one or two minutes for this page to load um, please just wait for it to load um, no hassle if it takes a while to load okay so you could download the panel from the lab and here it is so this is what we're using to perform the experiment this is what we're using to control the robotic arm to start control you click on this button which is the run button once I click on it, then it begins to um, control the robotic arm and you see from this video that the robotic arm has responded. Um, okay, so the robotic arm has responded. I can move the waist, for instance, to say 60 degrees. 60 degrees, okay. I've moved the waist to 60 degrees. We see the robotic arm has rotated 60 degrees. So you could tell the X, the um, Y direction and the Z Cartesian location of this arm by looking at this um, graduate graduation behind the robotic arm. So we see that the center of the gripper is somewhere around four inches, and um, it's that is about four inches to the right. That's um, in terms in the y direction, in the positive y direction, is about four inches in the positive y direction, and about ten inches or ten yeah about ten inches or yeah about ten point five inches. In the positive z direction so those are values i'll be recording if this were one of the configurations which i was to keep the robotic arm in but apart from performing the experiments if you really just wanted to have fun you could probably just play around with this move the robotic arm a little bit up and down and see what it's like to perform a robotic arm um, to control a robotic arm uh, okay maybe i should bring it back to an upright position um, if you notice there are wires around so you might want to be careful in controlling the robotic arm not to grab a piece of wire and try to cut it or something but generally it's quite safe it's not likely you are going to harm the robotic arm by a, a, any of your configurations but just in case something happens well okay so um, once you're done with the experiment you can click on stop you just click on stop and then you can now go back to interactive S um, sb that's interactive service broker and you're really done um, if you want to check out some experiments which you performed earlier on um, come to my experiment and it gives you a list of experiments which i've performed in the, f in the past now this is what we just performed in here so i could click on this and <coughs> if i scroll to the right you could give me information about this experiment which i performed but well i'm not really bothered about that for now so please don't forget to download the um the lab manual or rather the lab report so that um, when you're done with the experiment you could um, submit your experiment to your instructor and if you are my student well you could submit the um, experiment you could submit the report to me my email address is olawale.akinwale at oeufair.edu.ng or olawale.akinwale at gmail.com when you're done with all the experiments okay i mentioned earlier on that you need a lab view 8.6 on time just in case you don't have that you could download it from our um from the robotic lab server by um, if you come to this page and scroll that if you um, go to the home of the oeu robotics ilab do, um, the documentation if you go to the home formerly we were on kinematics experiment if we come to this um page that's the home page again you could get your lab reports all from here 
for all the experiments now please when you're done okay i was talking about the um, runtime if you scroll down you find the runtime on this page so you could download it from national instrument site or you could download it from this site and um, you'll need adobe shockwave player and flash player to play to show um, the webcam feed okay now um please when you're done with the experiment i'll appreciate it if you download this questionnaire and fill the questionnaire and mail it in to me um the idea behind the questionnaire is to find out your thoughts about how about this experiment and we'll use it a lot it will be very useful to us to in improving the laboratory so that later on later future iterations of this laboratory could be much better than this so i really appreciate it if you download this questionnaire and fill the questionnaire and um, we really 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 are looking forward to a feedback from you so I want to thank you very much for viewing this video. Um, just in case, I mean, I be I made an assumption that you already know the address, the URL for OU's iLab. But just in case you don't, let me um, expand this a bit so you can see it. You can find OU's or I'll type it on on Notepad. Um, the OU's iLab, you can find it at the following address: that's http ilab.oeufe.edu.ng. Now on this page you'll find information, all the information you'll need about or you'd like to have about um, OAU's iLab. But again, we have two service brokers. Um, the old service broker is at slash service broker and the new service broker which is where the robotic um, lab is is slash SB. Okay, just in case you try this link and it doesn't go, um, you could use the IP address. Um, for our for the machine which is 62.173.43.96 again depending on what um, which service broker you want to go to but you could find in um, you could just simply go to this page and from this page you find links to each of the service brokers so i hope this um, video has been helpful if you have any um, questions you can leave a comment below or you can send me an email once again my email address is olawale.akinwale at you could let me give you my gmail address so that um we could see this better okay let me just try to blow it up a bit let's see if it's font size 14 good so we could see these addresses very well so you could send me an email um if you have any um, questions or if you have any suggestions on how to improve things thank you very much for watching this video